Hey guys, welcome to Doing Stuff with TNA. I'm Travis and that's Amy. And this is Romeo and this is his chair. So we're gonna do some projects here and there, little things, uh, motorcycles, woodworking, random stuff. We're just gonna see if you guys like any of it. If we can get some subscribers, and if so, great. If not, no big deal, right? Just want to have fun. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's going to just take me getting in there and playing with it. I have some time. I'm focused. <laughs> that was unfortunate. We are working on some outlets in my bathroom, that shower light, and those lights over there. We took the old box out. It was just nailed in to the stud that goes along here. So I've used, just used a flathead screwdriver to pry between the box and the stud and pull it out and then pulled the wires out. I was able to drop the box down into the hole some and get my hands up there, pull the wires out of the back. So then I just pushed the wires into this box and labeled the wires and the way I labeled them this is live right now and I just touched the wires so uh, yeah you could get shocked you're not gonna get electrocuted doing this you can see that turns on those lights so and I could tell that these weren't source power because if they touch nothing happens and then this one to that one turns on the shower light so I know that's the shower light and that's then this is the source power. So we're going to connect source power into one of these screws. And this is just ground hooked up. There's no electricity through this. And all the white lines are tied in there. So I have the switches on right now so that I can have them labeled up. And now I have to create a jumper wire from here to here where I'm going to plug source power in and connect these two lights into the bottom ones and then plug source into one of these top two and it'll be done. So, um, put a little, there it is. All right, so I cut this little wire and expose the ends so that we can just press it into these quick connect fittings. Where are those? Let's see, mm. little holes. Mm -hmm. They take 14 gauge wire. I'm gonna slide that one into there. And then this one has one too, right there. All right. Show it connected. And this screw connects to that, and this screw connects to that. So the source power here, I'm gonna tie into one of those screws. Now for the feed, you just put it into the bottom, and this one is the main lights. So we're gonna move that up. This one down. I'm going to slide it into its corresponding hole right here. Right there. And none of this part is live. The only thing that's live is that one. So I don't have to worry as long as Which I don't one? touch that Sorry. one. The only one that's live is this one. So as long as that stays away from me, I'm safe. All right, so the shower light, um, this one's all kind of twisted up. So I'm just going to make him into a a loop and then screw it on. Wrong way. I always like to make sure that they go on. The loop is the same direction you tighten the screw. It makes it not go out from under the screw as it tightens down. Okay, so now all that's left is hooking up source power to here and both switches will work. I need to make a loop in that. So you see I have my pliers all covered in electrical tape so I don't get shocked by doing something like this. All right, there's the loop. Now we just have to carefully, without touching either this or this, because those are gonna become live, I can get that loop in there. See, they both turn on. That's off that one, on that one. So I'm going to go ahead and turn them off so I don't have power throwing, flowing through everything. Nope. Slipped. <laughs> and I need 
back this scoop out too. I had screwed it in, I believe, earlier. The screw's not all the way out. You can't get these in there oftentimes. Oh, I'm gonna have to unfold it some for it to fit. Okay, now we just tighten it up. And again, my screwdriver is coated in tape. You can get electrical screwdrivers. I just don't have any. The bolt switch works. That's the main lights, and you can see I can dim them. And then here's the shower light. And so we just gotta put the cover back on that shower light, and we'll push these in, and we will be done shortly. This is where I usually go get my power drill. They are turned on. So once he goes and turns the power back on, <laughs> we'll find out if it'll work. Ah! They work. Everything is on. I'm gonna turn off ah, the shower and the vanity stayed on. The vanity, it dims, it gets brighter on and off. And now we have two switches. Yippee. Yep, they work great. Okay, so now we are installing this cover back on that light. And you notice it has these little tabs here, and these are the hangers. Now these pop on there. 
So you have the other tab to hold it on both sides, two of them. And then these squeeze up and are held by these brackets right here. Take it up a step. So the trick is getting them on, but you see there's nothing to prevent them from sliding up. So clearly they have to go on here first. that little project we have a horrible mess to clean up this is going to be the first time i've used my brand new shop vac <laughs> we're gonna have to do that over i've got it backwards <laughs> it's another project done